Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something very cool called Outer Wilds. This is a game that I actually am kind of upset that I passed over. I had an opportunity to look at this a while back and I didn't quite understand what it was. And now that I've seen a little bit of information on it, you know, I kind of regretted that decision. So I thought let's run back and do a little preview on this one. Uh, right now this is a totally free version that anyone can go out and try. And the premise is you are basically an astronaut. Uh, who is going to take off from your home world and go explore a tiny little cluster of planets uh, in 20 minutes before the entire universe implodes. And in which case the world will start over again and you have a little bit more time to go explore in a different direction and hopefully unlock the secrets and mysteries of the universe and maybe understand why that keeps happening and maybe, I don't know, possibly take steps to avoid it. The game isn't quite finished yet, so I'm not sure where they're going with the end result, uh, but so far what I've seen of it looks very, very cool. So let's jump into it, do a new expedition, and see what we can accomplish here. Alright, so here we go. We have woken up in what appears to be a pretty comfortable looking little, you know, wooded area. Uh, we've got some alien trees, I suppose, and a little dude over here with a campfire. Uh, evidently we can roast a marshmallow. I'm going to use uh, X. I'm using a 360 controller and toast that. You can see that there's a thermometer letting us know how hot the marshmallow is. It's uh, surprisingly simulatory. So I guess there's also a, uh, a toasted marshmallow simulator built in here. Oh, I've lit it on fire. Well, I still enjoyed it. Still tasty stuff. So let's talk. Rocket Science says, hey, ready for the big day? Let's do it. You sound excited. How's the ship looking? Yeah, let's, let's talk about the ship. Great, I've repurposed the spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Is that okay? That sounds risky. What does that do? Mm -hmm. Sounds risky. Science is full of risks, and don't you worry. I'll be safe here on the ground, and you, well, you'll be fine. Most of the prototypes survived the ignition sequence, at least. Oh, that's comforting to know. Anyway, she's all ready to go. You just need those launch codes. I mean, she's technically ready to go. Uh, there's a couple of preliminary tests I could still run, that is, if you wanted to take your time getting those codes. Statistically speaking, it's unlikely we'd blow up another one. That's wonderful news. All right, so it is evidently day now. Uh, not sure exactly how the time scaling works in this world, but hopefully we'll find out. I've got a little plane of grass hanging out over here in the corner. That's something that I hope goes away someday. I understand for the need of, uh, you know, saving polys and stuff, we need to keep the blades of grass restricted sometimes to planes. Uh, but it definitely does take me out of the experience a little bit. But I can hop my way around this, uh, fully interactive environment here and just sort of find the most precarious way to get down. Uh, dynamic shadows, I like those. And we can see, actually, a pretty lovely cloudy sky going overhead. Uh, some shadows going across the trees, and those shadows, man, they're moving fast. I kind of want to go talk to some more NPCs, though, and see if they have any tips for me about how I'm going to become an astronaut. I uh, see you're off for some last-minute practice. Well, the training rockets can't stay on forever. Hey, uh, I'll be cheering on for you at the launch uh, from a safe distance, of course. So they're pretty certain I'm going to crash and burn. Can I go in your house? No, I cannot. Are there any secrets in this world? Doesn't look like it. So it looks like we've got a, a pretty fairly cartoony style of graphics going on. This reminds me of something like a Jack and Daxter or something maybe from the PS2 era. Oh, this door has a handle on it. I don't think the other one did that. Well, maybe I can go in later, but it doesn't look like I can yet. What do you have to say? Good luck on your expedition. Any idea where you'll go first? Uh, if it were me, I'd check out that gnarled, thorny one you can see in the sky on certain nights. I wonder how big it really is. It's pretty exciting. There's a whole bunch of different planets I can go explore. It sort of reminds me a little bit of that, uh, you know, free world, uh, open area feeling that we had, like, if you were playing Wind Waker for the first time, and there's just all these options, you have no idea where you're gonna end up, or what could even go on. Uh, you're really blasting off in that thing, huh? I know Goddard's made some fixes, so they don't explode as <laughs> often anymore. Uh, but you sure won't catch me climbing into one. Okay. Seems like everybody's got a fairly standard response of, you're about to die. Not sure why I volunteered for this mission, but I guess somebody has to do it, and if we're all about to die anyway, well, I don't know that we know that yet. We've got an observatory and a zero-g cave, and then something going on over here. Let's talk. Hey, it's you. Shouldn't you be in space by now? Oh, I get it. You wanted to practice landing with a pro, huh? Uh, I like to pretend those tree stumps are planets and moons. Show me what you've got. All right, so I can go up here and fly a model ship. All right, so I want to land, hopefully, on one of those little tree stumps here. So I want to move... Oh, okay, this is kind of tricky, actually. I want to move to try and get that light... Oh, okay, that actually went much better than I expected. Uh, oh, man. Alright, well, that's a bit of a disaster. Let's reset. Uh, so we've got our thrusters, we've got angles, and, and basically 
instant death. That is basically what's gonna happen to me right there. All right, so let's uh, let's not belabor this point. Let's go do some more exploration, and then let's see if we can get our license codes and, and flight codes or whatever they were called, and we'll do some blasting off and explore the world around us. A little shack here. Roast marshmallows at all times. Uh, hey, I thought you might... Uh, I might see you before the big launch. Uh, going to get a little bit of last-minute Zero Tree G training. Yes, I would love to do that. Zero Tree training. Uh, great, I set up an old satellite in the Zero G cave with uh, three broken nodes for you to repair. Remember, it's Zero G, so unless uh, so you'll keep drifting in the same direction unless you apply an opposing force. Make sure that force is your thrusters and not the wall. Have at it, and try not to concuss yourself right before the big launch. Good point. Alright, so I can suit up. And we'll go in here. Turn on my flashlight. Oh boy. And let's go in the Zero G cave. It's a pretty sweet cave. I kind of wish I could go check out a Zero G cave. Oh boy, this is going to be entertaining. I think I've already concussed myself. Alright, so I'm going to be very careful here. I'm applying thrusters very generally and not very liberally. Uh, let's get inside and we can press left bumper and I think we can repair this. Okay, am I... Am I doing the right thing here? Stop relative to target. Okay, repair. Zero percent repaired, I thought... Oh, okay, there we go, 33%. I get it. So we're just going to do that same process for each one of these. It looks like I actually probably am not going to just kill myself by smashing into a wall, but, you know, it seems like an option anyway. Uh, we do have a fuel meter and an oxygen meter, as you probably can notice in the corner there. I'm going to do a little bit more navigating and hopefully make my way over to this node. It's kind of hard to move around, I'll be honest, but it's actually easier than I expected it to be, given uh, my first experience in, uh, you know, other similar games with zero-g controls and trying to accurately emulate what that might feel like. This one actually feels like you could get the hang of it after just a little while. And one more of these. Hey, this is not a symmetrical amount of repair points here. We're gonna end up with 34% on this one. Alright, that's fair. I guess it was 33.33 repeating each time. Uh, so let's get out of the zero-g cave with a little bit of fuel remaining. That was certainly making me feel a little dizzy. How do I find the exit? I forgot where I came in already. One of these walls went up and out. Oh, is it pointing me in the right direction, actually? It may be. Oh, well, there's a hole in the wall. Let's go through there. That was exciting. Oh my goodness, I'm so topsy-turvy, I don't even know which way is down. Low fuel! Oh my goodness, I almost didn't make it out. Anyway, I did make it out, though, so that's all that really counts. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little bit more stressful when you're hurling at vast speeds through the endless void of space. You really have a way of reassuring me, don't you? And with that, your training is officially complete. Welcome to the space program. I uh, see you're already itching to get off this rock. You'll find the launch codes over at the observatory. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that I've put you so, uh, so much time training. You didn't train me at all. I trained myself. You little dingus. Uh, what are you gonna do? You're observing stuff? Hello, uh, astronaut. I'm listening for sounds in my telescope. Is that how that works? Heard anything interesting? Everything is interesting in space. The outpost on the moon is coming in loud and clear. Interesting. Uh, so I could use my telescope and look around. Very cool. There's all these little details that I wouldn't have expected to find. If you notice, there's like a little bit of lens refraction going on in the corners. As I move past the tree, you can see how it sort of warps and distorts. Now, I might be, like, wasting all my time here, and if that's the case, I apologize. Oh, and also, I know people have told me in the past, like, don't bother reading dialogue and stuff. I mostly do that because I've heard people have left videos of mine on in the, like, in separate tabs in their browsers, so I feel like that's kind of an accommodation for them. Uh, I know I don't have the best, like, sing-songy voice for reading things, but at the same time, I feel like I don't want to alienate anybody either, so hopefully it doesn't bug you guys. Uh, heading in here, it looks like we've got a projector with a big ol' lens flare on it. All right. Not interested in that. Uh, where do I get my launch codes? Alright, I don't feel like reading that. A nice little museum. I definitely could spend some time and hang out. Maybe the timer thing doesn't start happening. Oh, here's a map. I could use this. Oh, wow, we can actually go and explore in that way, too. Uh, but yeah, maybe the timer doesn't start ticking down until we actually get out 
into things. I imagine if this is not finished yet and they want to go and add a whole bunch more planets, this could be really, really exciting. I mean, it looks like you can zoom way out. I mean, what if they started adding, like, other solar systems? I kind of really like this idea. Anyway, uh, let's go uh, get our launch codes and see about doing a little bit of exploration. Uh, there you are, I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good, except... Except... Uh, that is to say... To be honest, I've been getting some disturbing reports from other travelers. Brittle Hollow's moon is starting to break apart and seismic activity has been detected be uh, beneath the hourglass twins. Oh, and there are storms brewing in the Giant's Deep, and well, you get the picture. That sounds real bad. Uh, things are changing out there and faster than we've ever seen. Sounds like it could be dangerous, and that gets cut off. Uh, I'll see what I can learn once I'm out in space, or ought to make for a hell of an expedition. There we go. Exciting stuff, of course, but be careful out there. Oh, I almost forgot. Here are the launch codes. You will not forget the launch codes. The only reason that I came here. Alright, let's go. I am excited. We're going to go explore space. We've got a little loading screen. Alright, so we've gotten through that. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. It's probably just due to the fact that I'm recording, but every time I've gone through a loading screen so far with Fraps running, it's also crashed my game. So I just had to run back and go get the launch codes again. Uh, hopefully that will not happen again, but a pretty good chance when I launch it's probably going to actually do that. So we'll take things as they go, and if I have to cut things short, then I will. Uh, but still, I think you will uh, get a good idea just from this little preview what exactly there is. So I've got the launch codes. Let's enter them in. All right, activate the lift, and let's do this. I'm pretty excited. I actually haven't spent very much time looking up at the sky, but it looks like there's all kinds of things to see. I uh, see a planet off in the distance there. we got, like, a moon, another one over there, and then I've got the, uh, the ability to zoom in and have a closer look as well. But, yeah, anyway, let's just actually go there. Probably the more exciting thing to do. All right, so we've got some pretty good technology, evidently. Let's gear up. Got schematics. Uh, surveyor probe is designed to help our explorers map the, uh, the environment and assess dangerous situations. Features forward and rear-facing cameras and most rely uh, mostly reliable hazard detector and powerful floodlights for illuminating the darkest reaches of space. That's the kind of thing I need on my side. To use computer is our one option, or buckle up. What's the computer do? Oh, okay, I guess we've got a, uh, a bit of like an autopilot situation going on, so we can fly directly into the sun or we can head off to... Timber Hearth, I'm assuming that's where we are right now, just based off of uh, how it looked. So let us buckle up. Toggle view, what are our views? We can look down, I guess, for landing. Uh, we can view map. Oh, that's exciting. I kind of want to go to uh, Hourglass Twins or Brittle Hollow. Both of them sound very exciting. I mean, all of them, honestly, do. The Nomad, Dark Bramble, and they're constantly moving, so there's going to be... Oh, what is this over here? Like a wormhole or something. Maybe this teleports you from one side to the other? This is very... Like, I keep saying it, but I'm totally psyched. Let's go. Lift off. Alright, we've lifted off. And up we go into the reaches of space. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's do some looking around. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to find anything, but let's, uh... Let's head for the nearest object. Actually, they're way closer than I thought they would be, and taking off was actually surprisingly uh, un... Uh, eventful. It just sort of happened. Um, okay, that's probably not a thing I want to land on. This might be. Stop relative to target or engage autopilot. Um, stop relative to target. Matching target velocity. Alright, now can we move in toward it? believe we can. We've got all the requisite uh, information we're going to need to hopefully not just destroy ourselves as we come in uh, way faster than we should be going. Landing mode, I'm slowing down, slowing down, landing mode. That did not work, and now I'm going to crash into the planet. Well, that didn't go very well. Ah, crap. Uh, what do I do? Can I just not? Okay, I guess I landed. It didn't really work very well. Can I get out of the ship, or is this just going to kill me? I don't know, I can actually walk around out here. Yep, so the ship's super damaged. Uh, that was a pretty lame little uh, exploratory mission here. What is this going to do for me? Probe active, hold to retrieve probe. Can I send it around to just do some stuff? No, just look out from these. Alright, I don't think you're going to help me right now. Probably not the reason you would use that anyway. So I've got an oxygen tank meter that is going down as we speak. But I want to do some exploring. 
What can I find? Oh my goodness, this planet is cracked open. There's like a big old blue cave in the middle. I want to get in there and look around. Now, what is the best way down, and do I have fall damage? These are questions that I have to ask. Oh, it looks very dangerous in there. What if I toss the probe? Uh, well, that doesn't still very much, or help me out very much. Uh, there's gotta be a way in. Flashlight, probably a good idea, so I can see the edge of this ground before I go hurtling off of it. Oh, look at that, it's got, like, suspended columns holding everything together, and then there's, like, a part down there that sort of looks like Katamari, where I would roll it up. Well, I've fallen in. Uh, basically everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and I believe I'm about to fall into a black hole. Or, maybe not? I landed on some sort of a platform. What if I Oh, well, now I'm definitely going in there. Where did this bring me? Am I- I'm just- I'm floating in space right now. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that's gonna be the end of me. Oh, I actually have thrusters, so maybe it's not the end of me, but it's probably pretty close. Uh, oh, what is this? I don't know, this is all very scary. Um, I don't want to launch the probe, can that go away? Put the probe away. Why does it want me to launch the probe so much? Uh, well, do I have enough thrust to be able to get back to where I was? I doubt it. Not even sure where I was if I look around. Big ol' frame of view. Which is useful, but... I don't know, was it that planet? Oh, ship is there. Okay, right. Uh, can I look at my map from here? Oh, you are here. It's rare that you can just sort of hang out in space in a game. I don't see that happen too often. And I ended up, like, at the furthest reaches. Uh, but I believe I started by going, like, over here or something? Brittle Hollow? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I was. Uh, pretty dangerous world. But, you know, it is space, so I probably should have expected that. Can I catch a ride on the Nomad? Kinda want to. I don't know, it's kinda far away though. And I don't think I can reach it in time, it's moving at a dramatically different speed and trajectory. Um, I, I can't even tell where I'm really flying. I am I going so fast that I'm like, speeding faster than this asteroid? Yeah, I think I am actually. Oh, well, I might be able to actually get in the same... No, okay, it's moving away from me again. I know, I'm just gonna waste all my thruster if I do that. Certainly a bit of a shame that you may end up in a position where you're just kind of stranded in space if you make a few bad moves, but, you know, I guess it's to be expected, and there should be a, a sense of weight to going off on this expedition. And besides, the whole universe is gonna collapse on itself anyway, so... Might as well do what you can. Oh, my fuel meter actually refills when you don't use it, but my oxygen meter does not. So, pretty amazing that they've discovered a way to refill fuel like that, but... Too bad they haven't found the other thing. Um, can I get close enough to this planet to ever land on it? I don't know, I'm like a self-contained ship, evidently. Low fuel? Alright, just wait a minute. Now, how close am I? 17 kilometers, 16... I may actually be able to reach that with the amount of oxygen I have, but even if I do, uh, my chances of being able to explore on it very much are pretty slim. Certainly is going to take a moment. When I get there, I'm just going to crash into the thing. But still, again, I think you get the idea of what uh, Outer Wilds is about, and especially since it's not completely finished, I think it shows absolutely great promise, and it's something that you guys should probably check out. Uh, probably not with fraps on, like I said, if you don't want to have any crashing issues. But again, you know, it's not finished, so maybe that's just something that will get worked out. I'm not really sure what that is. It, it often happens with Unity games, and it says it has, like, a problem switching resolutions, even though I didn't try to switch resolutions. I don't really understand it. Uh, if anybody out there, Unity developers, know, feel free to let me know. I'm kind of curious. But uh, I guess with that, I will wrap up the episode as we just about approach reaching Vine World here. Uh, if I could land on it, that'd be terrific, but if not, I'll go ahead with the outro here. So, uh, check out, uh, Outer Wilds. Link's gonna be in the description if you want to go give it a visit. Totally free to download right now. I'm not sure if it will stay that way indefinitely, uh, but it's that huge amount of promise, as you can tell, hopefully. I mean, if you're into this kind of thing anyway, the, uh, space exploration games. And the planet has passed me by. I am now doomed to drift in space. Lonely. A lonely spaceman. That's what you say I am. 
Anyway, uh, that is going to do it for another episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Feel free to go check out all my social media links as well as this game in the description of the video. If you want to go visit uh, more videos, I've got nearly 500 of them over on my website, indie-impressions.com. They're all neatly categorized and sorted for you. You can feel free to request more games uh, if you're into a specific thing. Or if you're an indie dev and you want to send me over a copy of your game for possible play on the ch uh, channel, feel free to get in contact with me. The contact form is on that website. And you can also stop by my Twitter or Twitch channels or anywhere you want to get in contact with me. It's all good. So I hope you will come back again for another episode real soon. I do new ones every single day without fail, so uh, you know I'll be always on the lookout for more innovative, uh, strange, unique, or original indie games. I definitely would say this is one of those. I would have a hard time believing there's an argument to be made you know, in the opposite direction of that. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out, and I will see you again real soon. I hope you have a lovely night. Later!